Good morning, designers. This is Mr. Granlund here, live from Mr. Granlund Studios. I hope you are having a great day. I wanted to go through uh, the update with you. Now, as always, if we go to the updates, I post all sorts of catch-up work here, as well as what is on the docket for working this week. Now, you're going to see that it's pretty light. Um, I noticed that not a lot of you have engaged in the content this week, and so I'm going to give you another week to go through and do these really fun, super easy mosaics. Um, and then also redesign flags. So let's talk a little bit about these mosaics. Color wheel mosaics. Um, see, just a few of you have turned it in. But what you're going to do is you're going to find different items of various colors and arrange them in a circle. Now, one thing about a color wheel it always starts with the same colors and it always goes in the same order. So it starts at red, orange, yellow, green, um, over to blue and purple and back to red. So it always goes in this order. So make sure when you're arranging it that you have red at the top, yellow in the bottom right hand corner and blue on the bottom left side. Okay. Now in these other things that are um, do here in unit four. So the analogous collage picture. What's great is if you have all the items out for the color wheel scavenger hunt, you also have all of the items out for these other things as well. You can just arrange them a little bit differently and snap a quick picture and send it out to me. You do not need six pictures. You just need one picture. Okay. But you need to find at least six things that are analogous colors. So analogous colors, um, if we take a look at a color wheel here, analogous colors are things that are next to each other on the color wheel. So if we're looking at yellow, yellow to green, those are analogous colors, you know, because they're right next to each other. And then there's monochromatic, which is the last um, last type of color scheme that I want you to do. And just choose a color, so like all of your blue items or all of your red items, and then photograph those together too. And like I said, if you have all of your different colored things out for the color wheel, you also have all of your colored things that you need for all the other images as well too. You can just snap three pictures, boom done all right now the reason I want you to go through color and understand color is because I want you to design a flag now one of the great tools that we have here I just googled flag designer and it came across this app called believe it or not flag designer <gasps> and if we click on flag designer it takes us to get this scrunches flag designer and it gives us different ways that we can arrange and color some ideas and what we can do is we can copy you know or save these files and put them into our worksheets that I have here so I'm gonna click on the flag redesign and you're gonna create one of these you're gonna create a flag for Oakdale or some other place. It doesn't necessarily have to be Oakdale. It can be somewhere other place and you can change that around as you see fit. Okay. Another way that you can create these flag designs is going into your Word document. And I did a video on this uh, before, but just to go over it again, insert drawing and then do new and then you can draw right inside of this program right inside of Google Documents okay so consider doing that or using the flag designer um, make one flag that you really like that's gonna be kind of your final submission if you choose a city other than Oakdale like maybe you live in St. Paul or North St. Paul or Maplewood you can change the wording on here and um, do it for whichever city 
you find interesting. All right, designers, I hope you have a great Titan day, and I look forward to seeing those designs.